Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're all having a great week. Today we're going to be checking out a trailer called The Mauritanian. Now, I don't know too much about this trailer, but just by reading the synopsis, it looks like it has something to do with someone who was involved in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. And it looks like they've been held in Guantanamo Bay and defense attorney, a prosecutor, and a few others are involved. And they're, I guess, trying to determine whether this guy was guilty or not or if he was unjustly put into prison. Obviously, there's a lot of sensitivity around this stuff, especially with American foreign policy and how we treat uh, detainees and how we deal with suspected terrorists. It's a legal thriller that I'm super excited about. So I'm a huge fan of legal thrillers, especially some of the OG ones like A Few Good Men with Tom Cruise, and of course, more recent ones such as Michael Clayton and Dark Water with uh, Mark Ruffalo, I think. Uh, those were fantastic films and I Strongly encourage you guys to check them out if you haven't already. This one's got Jodie Foster and Benedict Cumberbatch and a few other pretty notable actors. You know that the performances are going to be solid. Without getting into more details, let's go ahead and check out the trailer. If you stray outside the designated areas, you will be removed from the island. It's recommended you wear a hijab when visiting your client. We've had incidents of inmates spitting at mm. female lawyers. You want to represent the head recruiter for 9-11. Mohamedou Old Slot. I'm getting some Zero Dark 30 vibes here. He recruited the guys who flew your friend's plane into the South Tower. He put those men on my husband's plane? It hurts every time you watch it. In the event the detainee lunges for you, push back away from the table. We'll get in there as quick as we can. Hollander, this is my associate. We wish to represent you. We are seeking the death penalty, but if we miss mm -hmm. something, this guy so goes home. He's the one who's trying to it. Call this number. Speak to my mother. Tell her, I don't know, something nice. Yeah, your son's the in US prison. Government he's facing up death to penalty. 700 prisoners in Since when did we start locking people up without a trial in this country? That's a lot of case files. The prosecution won't show us the evidence they have against you. It's all redacted. You got a problem, take it up with the government. All my time here, I've been told you are guilty. Not for something that I have done, but because of suspicions and associations. I am innocent. He has been Since interrogated, he has been held guilty. against That's his will be. for six years without a single charge being laid against him. Doesn't it bother you at all, working for someone like this? His I'm accent's pretty good. I'm defending the rule of law. You gotta it's got that after. Texas drawl to it. Where I'm from, in Mauritania, we know not to trust the police. But never did I believe that the United States of America would use fear and terror to control me. A couple of sleepless nights. A couple of sleepless That's nights. Awesome. What about waterboarding? What about uh, all the I've other types of torture of that they conspiracy, use? But I'm starting to think this is what it must feel like to be on the outside of me. You're ever thinking this. Either wear the jersey or get off the field. You need to tell me what happened to you. I can't defend you. Do you understand that? You asked me to set fire to this place, but I'm still sitting. Maybe he's guilty. Maybe he is. Like we're doing our job. I'm not welcome home. That's not a part yeah. of my job. If I'm wrong, when it comes to my reckoning, I'm the one that I have to answer for. What makes you think you're any better than the rest of us? I don't think I'm better than anybody else. That is the point. For eight years, I have actor. been dreaming of being in a courtroom. Now that I'm here, I'm scared to death. You know, I think I figured out why they built Guantanamo down there. My client, he's not a suspect. He's a witness. Mr. Slahi, would you please raise your right hand and repeat after me? The Mauritania. The Mauritania. Is that even a country? I guess that's where he's from. Whew, wow. Intense, man. That's all I gotta say. I'm definitely getting a few good men vibes. I'm sure it's a unique original script, but the storyline, the characters, the, the conflict between persecutor versus the defense, and of course you've got the witnesses and you've got the accused in the middle. But you go to these movies because of the acting, because it's so well done. This is obviously a much more recent take on the legal issues that we've had in our country, especially after 9-11 and subsequent years after that and how we deal with suspected terrorists or even you know domestic suspected criminals. Anyways, it seems like it's a pretty intense film. This is something that you would sit down and just be engaged 
and just witness and be able to appreciate the level and the quality of acting that is on display here. A lot of time and energy was spent on the details of this to make this as realistic as possible. I think anyone who is into this stuff will be in for a treat. I am definitely pumped and hyped for this. I think it's going to be great. Whether this comes out in theaters or in streaming, I'm definitely adding it to the list and I'm going to check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys like the trailer for The Mauritanian? And are you excited for this movie? And what are some of your favorite legal thrillers that have come out? Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.